Again, you're watching today on ENC8 DSTV Channel 43 with me, Dan Moyane. Now, the Human Sciences Research Council is calling on members of the public to refrain from distributing and spreading false information about the organization's data collectors. This follows what the HSRC calls a series of false Facebook posts and WhatsApp voice messages that have been doing the rounds on social media platforms for the past few weeks. Well, let's discuss this further with the acting CEO of the HSRC, Professor Lachnex Simbai. Prof, good afternoon. Welcome to today. Thank you very much for your time here on ENC. So this, this uh, spreading of fake news about your data collectors, for how long has it been going? on good, good afternoon uh, mr. Moyane and uh, also greetings to to the viewers um, it has happened over the past few days uh, in the main so it's been going recent, yeah it's been going yeah, recently Exactly where? Is it across the country or is it in specific places of the country where currently you've got a survey going on? Yeah, we actually have three large surveys which are happening simultaneously in different places. Uh, it, it, it started mainly in the Free State, but it has spread up to four provinces. So, so w what are they saying? What are these messages, these fake messages saying about your data collectors? Well, <clears throat> they are basically claiming that uh, people are masquerading as researchers working for an uh, organization and, and uh, going into people's homes and actually threatening them, uh, which, so which, which is not quite true at all and, so, and so, hence yeah and hence your appeal yeah. but but how can i identify an HR, as hsrc data collector as being a legitimate researcher thank you thank you for that question it's essentially our feed workers are identifiable by their hsrc marked bibs and identity cards and also their vehicles are also marked with various project logos on their doors. When they arrive to collect data at each household that they visit, they need to introduce themselves and to provide an explanation for the purpose of the study. But they only visit households in a particular area after first reporting to the nearby uh, police station. Oh, so, so they, we therefore, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so this, they work with the police locally to say, we're here, we're from HSRC. Over the next few days, would like to do a survey, whatever the survey is in this area. Uh, exactly, exactly. The, the idea is uh, for, for them to alert the, the police about their presence in the neighborhood. Uh, so that members of the public are reassured that actually th these are bona fide uh, data collectors. Yeah. How so important is it? Then, how, yeah. How important is it that you conduct these types of service? You said there's currently three that you are currently busy with across the country. Yes, sir. Uh, our organization, uh, the Human Sciences Research Council, undertakes large-scale policy-relevant social sciences research uh, primarily for use. Uh, the information that we get is used by government, non-governmental organizations, uh, as well as international agencies. The information that we obtain is collected from time to time. So uh, we have, at the moment, three different surveys, which are all actually towards the end, because they started uh, earlier in the year. Uh, and in fact, we are going to start a fourth one nationally, uh, starting from next month until the end of the year.
Okay, you're saying the current three are at an end, but can you just tell our viewers what these three are in case uh, somebody is watching, this, is watching this interview and then there's going to be somebody saying, I'm from the HSRC, I'm doing a, a survey on what? Thank, thank you so much. Uh, the, the first of these three surveys that are currently out in the field, are one which is known as the National HIV Survey, uh, the full name is the sixth South African HIV prevalence incidence behavior and communication survey. This is a survey we do every three to five years to estimate the prevalence of HIV throughout the country. Uh, we are doing the sixth of such studies. The first one uh, having been uh, undertaken in 2001 uh, which was called commissioned by the Nelson Mandela Foundation. So that's the first. The second one is called the South African National Survey on Health, Life Experiences and Family Relations. This one is the first of its kind, where again we are visit, uh, visiting a certain number of households only in all nine provinces in order to, to learn about what's happening in terms of uh, different life events, childhood experiences and family relations, uh, which influence health and well-being of family members. The third and last one currently in the field is called the National Food and Nutrition Security Survey. And this one is looking, as the name is suggested, uh, as to whether we have adequate access to food and nutrition and to see what the needs of uh, the South African community uh, at large is. Okay, no, thank you very so much for explaining. Are the, those are the three ones that are, you are currently ending. There's a new one that's coming up next month, as you say, which will be a national survey. Very briefly, what will the new one be about? Okay, the next one is called the South African Social Attitude Survey. Uh, and basically, this is a survey which we do every year. We have been doing this since uh, 2003. And it, it looks at the different uh, things that uh, South Africans think and feel about various issues that are of interest to the country. Okay, Prof, thank you very much for your time and explaining. Hopefully people will understand that when there's a data collector in their area, they have been communicating with the police and they can double check and verify their credentials. Because, I mean, we do live in very difficult times in our country in terms of crime. But thanks for your time. That's the, the acting CEO of the Human Sciences Research Council, Professor Likeness Simbai. These surveys are, of course, important in gathering data that is then used by policymakers and other people in implementing the right kinds of interventions.